Hi, Randy the Mobile Home Guy here. We're going to go over today how to take out and install a center drain mobile home bathtub. So this one that you can see here has a center drain. And so we got to figure out how to get to that. Sometimes there's going to be an access right underneath it, underneath the house. But on most of them, what they're going to have is we're going to have to deal with it inside the wall. So usually there's a faucet on one side or the other. Um, on this uh, particular one, it was on the left hand side. So what we need to do is we need to go in the bathroom and the bedroom there and remove the panel behind this faucet and we'll be able to see a few things that way, okay? Okay, so we removed the panel here behind the faucet. We're talking today about moving, removing a center drain tub. And we can see that even though this is a center drain, we can see through that it is a center drain, the piping comes over to the left hand side, usually where the faucet's at. So right here is where the T's into, and then this is the vent to, uh, for the roof, and then it T's down into the main drain there. So what we really need to do is we need to cut this T right here, not the T, I'm sorry, the pipe, and we need to leave some space there so we need to be able to get this out so we can put a new fitting on this T right here. So we'll look at how to do that. So what we can do is we can come in here with a sawzall, cut back from this T a little bit, cut in there, right there, and then the tub will come out that way. Or we can kind of demolish the drain. We can cut around the drain right there and let it set and pull the rest of the tub out and deal with that. Let's look and see how that would look. All right, so we're inside here. I did pull the tub out. Um, and so what I like to do, I really like to do it to where you can cut this T right here that leads over to the P-trap. P-trap goes through the floor here, comes up, leads over here like this. So if you cut that, it's the best way. Um, you can come and cut out the tub. I didn't choose to do that, but here we can look at the bottom of the tub. But if you were to cut from the inside, just cut this section out and leave it there. You can pull this whole section out. And this is what it's gonna kind of look like. This is what it looks like after it's come out. So if we take a little closer look, we can see right here, there's a swivel fitting, okay? So if we unscrew this, this whole P-trap and everything will come off, okay? We'll set that to the side, okay? And so this is the new tub. So um, what we have done is we have put the drain in place, okay? And then we've screwed the swivel piece on there, which is separate from the P-trap. These are two separate pieces, but we've glued them together. Okay, and we've put the P-trap in place, and we've screwed the pipe on that's gonna go into our old T, that we left a little bit of gap on there, so we can just put a coupler right on there, okay? So if we see P-trap over like that, and this is pretty good. You get this really super tight, sealed up really great, okay? And get it all tight, and then we can just set it back down in there, the new tub back down in its spot. P-trap will be where it's supposed to be. And then at the end, we can just come in here, put a coupler on there through the wall here without having to do anything down below or those kinds of things like that. Okay, for this type of application where we're just gonna actually put the tub down in there with a pipe already on it, I like to use a fitting like this. This is a half inch to half inch coupler with a rubber boot in there. So what I like to do is I'll, this is sitting here ready to go. So when we put it in the floor, then we can put the coupler on there. But I like to put this coupler on first, okay? I'm gonna put this coupler on first, making it easy for ourselves to get to, okay? Like this. And then this is just um, some hose clamps on it. It's designed that way. And then uh, we can tighten those once it gets on once we put it on there and we pull the boot from underneath on the side over here, we can just pull it right over top of our boot like that. And then once it goes into the other pipe, we on both of those and we're ready to go. You can do uh, a, a glue type one on there. It's a little rougher, you kinda gotta push and prove. We wanna do as little pushing and prying as we can because these are the fittings down there by the P-trap we're trying to keep tight. So what I like to do before we put the tub in, I like to put this boot right there. See, it's a, uh, there's a pipe, I like to get right close to there, so that once it's in, we just pull it right over top of that other pipe down below there, okay? Okay, so here we are in the wall. We can see that we have our pipe ready to go right over top of our tube there. So what we're gonna do with this is we're just going to pull this gently right over top of that, OK? 
Okay, making sure we're equal distance. Okay, and then we're just going to tighten the hose clamps. And really, folks, that's really all there is to it. See, we're just going to tighten these little screws right here. These screws. Let's tighten those on there. And this is all going to be sealed up. We're going to want to pour like five gallons of water down there. Make sure we're uh, looking down there where our P trap's at. See, yep, we're good to go. And then that would be good water test for us. And then uh, we can move on to doing the wall. Okay, we have a center drain tub that we were dealing with. We just kind of put that in. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, mobile home plumbing. So we can see that there's some room here. This is the T that goes into the main right here. There's the water line that goes over and uh, for the drain for the tub. It's a center drain. We can look through the wall here because this one's kind of demolished. And it comes all the way along the floor. Runs along the floor there over to the center drain there where there's a P-trap over there right below the center drain. And this pipe here goes up to the vent there. So this, this little T right here is pretty far into the floor here. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll put it right in the wall right here and they'll tee over. So sometimes this tub is easier to change from a center drain into a left hand drain or whatever side this wall is on yours. Sometimes this is on the opposite side, um, making it a right hand drop. But then, so with the T here, if it's in the wall, we'd almost do the same thing if we wanted to change it to a left hand drain. One of the things we need to make sure of is where the floor joist is at, because sometimes the floor joist will be right where you'd want to put a new P trap for the, if you're changing it over. So we can see right here, it runs over there if the, um, for making this a center drain. If this was back here a little bit, it would be just as easy if you cut this little tip right there off of the T to make a little elbow over and straight into a P-trap right here, making this a left-hand drain. But we need to make 100% sure that there's no floor joist right here where you'd want to put your P-trap. We don't want to be cutting floor joists. So if your floor joist is over here somewhere off to the side with your T over here, you can cut the tip off of that T, leaving about a, an inch or so worth of piping on it, and put an elbow over, and make this into a left-hand drain, okay? Make sense? Okay, quick recap on doing a center tub drain, okay? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do you're going to want to come into the room behind it. You're going to take off the access panel. We're going to look at the T and we're going to decide, is the T back here enough to where I could cut that off over here and make that into a left hand drain or drain to the side of where the faucet's at, left or right. And where's our floor joist? If our floor joist is not in the way of cutting a hole there to make a P-trap hole. Or if not, it's just going to go straight over there. We're going to leave it as a center drain. Okay, we're going to look at that. And then either, sorry, either we're going to decidedly cut this elbow right here, leaving some of the piping left over. We're gonna cut past the pipe about an inch and a half. Okay. We're gonna have removed this around and any screws along this edge here, any screws there, the tub is going to be able to be lifted out. Okay. Or we don't wanna do that with the, in the wall, we can cut inside here, leaving uh, around this hole like that. Just cut a big old circle out of the tub itself. Pull the tub out, you'll leave that there. Then, over here, once it's out, we can cut that T off. Take the tub out, put the new drain on. We're leaving it a center drain. We're going to put the pipe P-trap fitting on there with the pipe extended with a little coupler on the end of that. We're gonna set the tub in place gingerly and reconnect that coupler over there, okay? Then we should be ready to deal with the walls.